In today's video lesson, we're going to talk about how to multiply mixed numbers and whole numbers. So first, we need to convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. Let's begin by rewriting the denominator, which is 5. Next, we'll multiply the whole number by the denominator and add the numerator. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2. That's 17. Now, the whole number 4, we're going to write that as 4 over 1. We need to write that as a fraction. So now we're multiplying two fractions, so we need to multiply across. 17 times 4, 10 times 4 is 40, 7 times 4 is 28, 40 plus 28 is 68. And on the bottom, we have 5 times 1, which is 5. So now we have the improper fraction 68 over 5. To simplify that or to convert that back to a mixed number, you could use long division or you could do it this way. The highest multiple of 5 just under 68 is 65. And 68 minus 65 is 3. So 68 over 5 can be written as 65 over 5 plus 3 over 5. 65 divided by 5, that's 13. So we have 13 plus 3 fifths. And we can write that as a mixed number, 13 and 3 fifths. So that's the answer. 3 and 2 fifths times 4 is 13 and 3 fifths. Another way in which you could see it is, see it this way. When you time something by four, it's like adding it four times. So imagine if you have three and two fifths, if you have that, if you add it four times, what would you get? So add in three, four times, three plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus three is 12, or three times four is 12. Now, two-fifths, when you add it four times, it's like saying two times four is eight, so that's eight-fifths. Eight over five, you could write that as five over five plus three over five. Five over five is one. Twelve plus one is thirteen, so you get thirteen plus three over five, which is thirteen three-fifths. That's another way in which you could see it. So for the next example, let's do it both ways. Let's begin by converting the mixed number to an improper fraction. So we'll rewrite the denominator, 8. Then we'll multiply the whole number by the denominator. 4 times 8 is 32, plus the numerator, that's 35. And the whole number 7, we'll write it as 7 over 1. So we have 35 times 7. 30 times 7 is 210, because 3 times 7 is 21. And 5 times 7 is 35, so 210 plus 35, that's 245. So we have 245 over 8. The highest multiple of 8 just under 245 is 240, because if 8 can go into 24, 8 can go into 240. So we could break up 245 into 240 plus 5. Now what's 240 divided by 8? 24 divided by 8 is 3, so when you add the 0, 240 divided by 8 is going to be 30. So we have 30 plus 5 eighths. That means that the answer is 30 and 5 eighths. Now let's do it the other way. 4 and 3 eighths, that's 4 plus 3 eighths, and then we're going to multiply that by 7. We know 4 times 7 is 28, and 3 eighths times 7, 3 times 7 is 21, so that's 21 over 8. Now 21 over 8, the highest multiple of 8 under 21 is 16. So I'm going to write this as 16 over 8, and 21 minus 16 is 5, so we can write that as 16 over 8 plus 5 over 8. Now 16 divided by 8 is 2. 28 plus 2 is 30. So we get 30 plus 5 eighths, which will be this answer, 30 and 5 eighths. So those are two ways that you could use to multiply a mixed number by a whole number.